Well, hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your September reading. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. What's coming into the current moment? Influences, recent past. What's on your mind? What's the situation? What's the main energy for September? What you'll experience coming into the near future? How you see yourself? What's in your environment coming in, your emotions, and what's the outcome? We're going to lay out all these cards, and then we're going to clarify them. If this is your first time clicking on the video, welcome. I am so glad you're here. If you're returning, thank you for all of your support. Let's get to it. All right, coming into the reading, what do we got? Six of Cups in reverse, Sag. By the way, this is general, so it could be anything, uh, just whatever spirit has for you. If you want to focus just on love, the extended reading link is going to be below in the description box and pinned in the comment section. What's influencing that Six of Cups in reverse? We've got judgment. So right away, it's like somebody's either clinging to the past or somebody is having really bad memories of the past and the challenge is to give somebody a second chance. We'll see. What's on your mind, Sad? Yeah, see, Four Swords in reverse. Restless energy, but also that energy of like wanting to come out of a break. We'll see. Who is it? In, in the recent past, we had the Six of Wands in reverse, card of Leo. Something failed. Somebody felt as though they failed. What's the situation for September? We've got the Seven of Cups. Could be options. Could also be somebody just kind of creating illusions, maybe even daydreaming. Coming into the near future. Well, there you are saying hi to mom. What's up, Sag? We've got the Knight of Wands. Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, but for me, it is the card of Sag. How do you see yourself? What are you up to? Okay, Sagittarius, who popped your Pop-Tart? What is going on? You see yourself as the Seven of Swords. All right. You guys might be wanting to play around a little bit, but also keep in mind, this can be avoiding. Look, he's trying to get away, right? So you guys might be trying to get away from somebody. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see? Yeah, take that cup and shove it. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this can be a breakup, but it can also just be an unrequited situation. And that's what I was getting here at the beginning. Somebody wants it and somebody doesn't. Doesn't have to be the past. What's going on in your feels? Two of Cups. I mean, Two of Cups. What the hell, Mom? Two of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys just want to date around or you're connecting with somebody that maybe doesn't want to settle down. The damn retrograde. I mean, what's your outcome? You've got the Queen of Wands. That could certainly be you. Leo Sag Aries, sometimes when she shows up in my readings, it's like the other woman, the other person even. So we'll see what that's all about. Hey, guess what? We're going to play a little game down in the comment section. If you could, if you were not a Sagittarius sun, like if you could pick another sign, what would it be? Put that in the comment section. I'm always interested to see what people think of other signs. So, and if you love being a Sag, that's great too. Let us know. But if not, if you couldn't be a Sag, what other zodiac sign would you be? All right, let's see what's up. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. I should be going live on Friday. So this Friday, 4 p.m. Central, I will be going live. Mark your calendars. All right, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does September look like? So it's all happening because of the seven of cups. We're going to clarify that bleep, bleep, bleep card first and see what's going on for September. What is the Seven of Cups? And judgment, yeah. I feel like somebody wants to keep their options open. And again, somebody else is like, but wait, we're not finished. And again, it doesn't, some of you, it is somebody you broke up with. Listen, people don't wanna hear about their exes, that's fine. But I'm telling you, I don't control the cards. It's what's coming out. So there's a Sagittarius out of a few of y'all who are, is watching this, and this is going to pertain to them. But also keep in mind, guess what? We haven't hit September yet. You can't tell me all of you don't have an ex at some point. Somebody's going to reach out, and you're over this person. And if it's not an ex, it's somebody that you're casually dating, and you're like, mm, thanks, but no thanks. That's what this feels like. So we've got Scorpio showing up a lot here. Coming into the reading, we've got the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Woo, somebody's having some memories of the past, but they're not good memories. I mean, does she look happy? Not really. So, you know, 10 is completion, a 10 of swords. We've completed a long cycle. This could have been a really painful breakup. For some of you, it's not even love. You had some words with someone and coming into the reading, somebody can't stop thinking about that, right? They're thinking about something that's happened in the past and it doesn't even have to be that long ago. And it could be, of course, a painful ending and it's just done or... Or 
Somebody threw some words. Somebody threw hands, Sag, and it hurt. This is reminding me very much of the Scorpio reading. So if you have Scorpio in your chart, or you're connecting with somebody with Scorpio in their chart, you need to go check out that reading, seriously. Because Scorpio is influencing this too with judgment and the world. Two major arcana. I also feel like there is something here, whether it's family, friend, love, your pet, whatever it is, there is a decision. It's an important decision. And it's really going to call for somebody to rise above and take stock of the situation and be like, you know what? We've gone as far as we can go. The end of a cycle, we've got our last major arcana here. And guess what? I learned some lessons out of all of this. Also too, hey, y'all make sure you hang out to the very end of the reading because every once in a while, you're gonna get a message and if that's for you. And if you dip early, you won't hear it. So it's always important with tarot because the energy shifts. Sometimes if the entire reading doesn't resonate, certain areas will. But yeah, bad memories. We had a fight. I told you to go F yourself or uh, -uh I don't want to go back to the past. You, you won't let go of me. It's done. Oh, but I want a second chance. You mean the world to me. You're my soulmate. I don't want anybody else. Or listen, I've been thinking I've made a decision and that decision is to cut your bleep bleep off. I don't want anything to do with you. Adios. See you later. The water Uber will be here in 10 minutes. I'm just saying, what's on your mind, Sag, throughout September? Four of Swords in reverse. But please take my apology, Page of Cups. Here comes the message. You might be, some of you are waiting on somebody to reach out so that you can just be like, bleep, 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 you and your family and everybody that's connected to you. I want nothing to do with you. But you're waiting for that. And that's why you see yourself as the Seven of Swords. I mean, this can be a little sneaky, deaky. Let's be real. Listen, I can be the Seven of Swords. What? Not taking it back either. Or you're avoiding this person. But on your mind is, hey, haven't talked to this person in a while. I'm just waiting for them to reach out. And it's either because it's what you need for closure or you legitimately deserve an apology from somebody. All right. What happened in the recent past? Six of Wands in reverse with the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Commitment, yes. Marriage, yes. This could be a failed marriage or a failed commitment, of course. But I also feel you guys had some sort of like, <sighs> sometimes, and I know people are going to be like, what, mom, what are you talking about? Sometimes the hair font for me will bring in that energy of like enlightenment. I've educated myself, right? I've gone through almost an awakening because the hair font can be a guide or a teacher. Some of you have gone through that journey with somebody who has kind of opened your mind and, you know, it's very wise energy. It is tradition. But I don't know. I just feel like that. Hell, maybe it was a tarot reading. Sometimes the Hierophant could be a tarot reader. But we know you, you finally came to the realization here that something just wasn't working. It was, it was a failed situation. And I think also somebody's ego got in the way. Coming in, Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Well, let's talk about it. What does the Knight of Wands do? The Knight of Wands gets on that horse and takes off. He's in pursuit of something. Coming, going. He's not about staying still. He doesn't, you know, he's not usually one to be in a commitment. He is fiery and he is uh, moving forward with a lot of passion, yes. But it's not the most consistent. And with the Eight of Wands in reverse, you're going to block somebody. Somebody gets blocked. Who's getting blocked? Put that in the comments. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands in reverse. Could be a Leo, strength card, sign of Leo. Yeah, you're holding back. Somebody's holding back. Listen, whomever is reaching out to somebody, I wouldn't do it. I would just get on my bike or in my car and keep keep going, keep moving. I don't know. I was going to say big wheel, but it just didn't fit. You see yourself as the Seven of Swords. Why are you the Seven of Swords throughout September? What's up with that? Ace of Swords, you're happy to do it. I mean, Ace of Swords is, oh, I see it clearly. There's success in me avoiding and moving forward, away, far, far away from somebody, Aquarius energy. The Ace of Swords, you're taking up that sword and you're cutting something off. You're cutting through because you have this clarity. Also, remember we talked about mom here was telling you, you might be waiting on some sort of communication to come in. There's that communication, and you could be the Seven of Swords and see, see you later. For some of you, this is a, um, a friend. 
what hap what's happening here in your environment? What's coming that you don't see? We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the water Ubers here, the chariot. Told you, I knew that was gonna be in your environment. So Cancerian energy, take your cup, dump it out, see you later. I don't want a cup of love. I'd rather have a cup of tequila or chocolate milk or whatever. I don't want your cup. And perhaps if it's love for you, this person took advantage of your love and emotions for a long time. And so the chair, and this is a major arcana. So the universe is bringing that chariot your way, Sag, and they're going to just dump it in your lap and they're going to say, hey, get on. Let's go. We're out. What's going on in your feels? Two of Pentacles. Some of you just want to date. Two of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. I think you're a little bit wobbly too. You need to regain your stability with this whole situation, but you need something to come in first. This Knight of Cups can also be an apology. Some of you are just waiting on that and you need that and there's nothing wrong with it. Others of you um, throughout September, you're going to feel like getting out there and dating. Knight of Cups, sweep me off my feet. Bring me some flowers and whisper sweet nothings into my ear. Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands, and you're blocking other people out. This is fiery, powerful, strong energy, Sagittarius. <laughs> Some of you are going to meet somebody in September, and there's somebody else here that you're like, stay the F out. I didn't just, you know, lock the door. I changed the locks. Do not disturb. This is you standing your ground. What's the outcome? We've got this Queen of Wands, male or female, energy, fire, you, you're a fire sign. Queen of Wands. Ooh, Empress. Y'all, she's pregnant. Be careful. Be careful you don't look too hot in the month of September. The Queen of Wands, she's boss. Beep, beep, beep. That's boss bitch. I said it and I don't take it back. She's strong, independent, confident. She looks good. She smells good. And, you know, people are very attracted to that Queen of Wands, but more so your energy is just super powerful. You're not bothered by this. It's very interesting. Whoever this is, they're, see you later. They're like last year's news, apparently. And, you know, if, it, if you're completely single, you might meet somebody early on. And very quickly, you're going to be like, nope. And this person's kind of lingering a little bit. But there's somebody else coming, too, that's interested in you. You're going to, and also, I'm telling you all, whether you're male or female, you are going to be very attractive to others. Beautiful, confident but also very nurturing, kind, and giving um, on the inside. That Empress is very powerful, strong female energy, typically. If you're a male Sagittarius, this is who you're attracting. And the Three of Wands in reverse. Why? Why are you going to experience growth, expansion, and a new beginning that's very beautiful and abundant because the Three of Wands in reverse? Because you're turning your back on something else. This is just not working. Yeah, you may have manifested this, but it's no longer what you want to manifest. You don't want to go in this direction any longer. So you're turning your back. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse with the Page of Cups on Saj's mind? Why? Because of the Ten of Wands in reverse. What did I say earlier? For I'm reading for somebody who's like, listen, Hey, John, could you could you message me? Could you come back around? I know we haven't spoken in a little while. I mean, hell, maybe it's been two days. Maybe it's been two years. I'm, I'm still waiting on that apology. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Now I can lay your ass down. Ten of Wands in reverse. It was a burden. It was too heavy. I needed some sort of closure, and I needed you to get out of my life. And now I can. Some of you, this person did you wrong. And it, again, it doesn't have to be love. It could be in any aspect of your life. They pulled a fast one on you in some way. And you need that clarity, right? With the Ace of Swords, you want that communication so that you can get to the point, right? Tell them off and then take off. I mean, I'm not hating it and I'm not mad at this energy. I wish I had more Sag in my chart. I think I'm a North Node and that's pretty much it. Happy full moon in Pisces, everyone, Sagittarius. We're going to go over to the extended reading, and we're going to see what's up. I'm dying to see how this person reacts to this, because this is juicy, hot, and I'm kind of excited for the drama over there. I want to see what they do. Plus, we're going to pull a card of advice, an oracle card from one of my favorite decks. So you're going to want to check that out. Link is below for the extended. And uh, other than that, I would appreciate you liking the video. 
if you liked it, even just for like two seconds, it'd be great if you could like the video because it will help it move through YouTube and it helps the video get out, which helps me in turn helps you. All right, you guys, I love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.